Hey, this week's Parsha is not just Dachrima, which I discussed the other day, but also Kedoshim. And so I want to say a word now. I have so much to say on Kedoshim, maybe I'll break it up into uh, other videos. But the point that I'm going to talk about right now is the opening of Kedoshim. And infused in between commandments that God gives us um, is this beginning of this Parsha where Hashem speaks to Moshe and he says to speak to all of Israel and to tell them to Kedoshim to you, to be holy. And he says, Kadosh Ani Hashem El Kechem. Because I, Hashem, your God, which indicates both. Um, the dual nature of God being a merciful and God being one of strict judge justice. Um, he is our God. And he, then it says that Ish Imo Va'aviv Tirau, that um, a man has to revere both his father and his mother. And then we're told, Ve'et Shabtotai Tishmaru, and you should keep the Shabbos. And again, it says, Ani Hashem El Kechem. I am Hashem, your God. And then it says, Al Tifnu El Elilim Ve Elo He Masecha Lo Taasulacham Ani Hashem El Kechem. And don't make these false gods. Um, and don't make this. Masecha is like a, a, a mask, as we know. Um, and it's talking about in terms of serving false gods. And again, I am Hashem, your God. And then it goes on to give us a whole bunch of other misspelled. But I want to talk about the importance of highlighting, the way I see it, of, of God highlighting these aspects and in this order. So, of course, the first thing that we're told is we should be holy because God is holy. So, of course, we know that we're made not just that we're made in the image of God and that we are supposed to imitate him and be like him. But the fact is, is that in order to lead our lives, we have to know what it is that infuses us with life in order to lead a proper life. So the first thing and the most important thing is obviously we would not be here living if God did not infuse the breath of life, so to speak, within us. Meaning it doesn't matter to all efforts of man to produce a human being if God does not decide for that life to come onto this earth by infusing that body with the life force, which is from God, we would not exist. So that is of prime importance, that, that we are here because God put us here and we are that is the part of us that is like God and that is the part of us that we have to nourish. And so we have to be holy and be like God in order to thrive. And the next thing in the order of importance is that you should revere your parents because of course the next thing is that if your parents didn't come together to conceive you you would not be here on this earth okay for good or for bad whether you asked to or not obviously you are here and your is because your parents that you are alive and that you are thriving and that you exist to do anything it is that you're doing and you should revere them and you should respect them and believe it or not everything that you are and everything that you think is in large part due to your parents again for the good or for the bad if you agree with them and you have values and morals and a good life because of them yes and even if it's the opposite even if god forbid you have bad parents who didn't do the right thing still you were able to learn by the contrast and able to be a better person to rise above that learning through that process and that God put you in that situation and there has to be a reverence and um, an appreciation of sorts that they brought you here and that you are who you are because of them and that's an important acknowledgement and then the next thing is a chapter tie to Shmaru because my firm belief is that the Shabbat, the Shabbat, okay, only Jewish people have to keep the Shabbat. And that that is what infuses us as a Jewish religious nation with what it is that keeps us alive, alive as a nation. And all of that we know that is the power and the spirituality and the goodness of Shabbos that keeps us 
the rest of the week. And this is what keeps us alive and strong and infused with spirituality. So our our whole spiritual makeup is really infused from keeping the, the Shabbat properly. And this is something that we have to um, not just appreciate, but it's something that we have to cherish and keep it as good as we can in the, in the best way possible in order to really nourish that spirituality and to keep it going strong and powerful and in the right way. And those are the, the three main components. And then, of course, as I said, God said not to make yourself false gods. And I love that, you know, the Masecha is a part of that sentence because the truth is, is for even those people who like to throw off the yoke of heaven and everything that we've been given, by doing that, you are we're putting on a mask of sorts because we're denying all it is that we are. And when we deny all it is we are, it's just a mask that we're wearing deep down inside that is not who we are. We are all those things that I just mentioned before. We're all those things. We are a God sent onto this planet, infused with uh, holiness from God and part and parcel of our parents and that we believe with the Amunah that that was a situation that God put us in and to keep the shops. And if we don't do all those things, we are denying that and we are somebody that we are not supposed to be. And that is serving false gods in a sense because we're not following the will of God and wearing, wearing a mask, wearing a mask and living out our life um, for some other purpose, which is another God. And I think all this is an important base that we have to have before we can properly um, keep them. So we have to have all that as a knowledge in order to keep them, at, at least in the right way, in a strong, powerful, meaningful way. This is something that we have to keep in mind. Wishing you the best. Shabbat Shalom.